Hey everyone, Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am so excited to be talking with my friend Alana Pratt today. Yay! Thank Yay. you for being here together. Yeah. Red. Right? <laughs> I know. So um, today we're going to talk about how intimacy, having the, well, the lack of true intimacy, can really play a part of how to grow your revenues. Honestly, I've had a whole story about that myself, but I want Alana to really mm -hmm. share a little bit more about what she does with that. She doesn't always work with just business owners. However, I know that it plays hand in hand, um, but share a little bit more, Alana, would you please? Mm, thank you. Yeah. So um, for those of you that don't know me, hi, great to meet you. I'm an intimacy expert. So I'm sure my bio and all my accolades are somewhere on some site and some link. Uh, I don't really want to use my time for that. I want to really let you know that the receiving of love is the same as receiving of money, receiving of that ideal client. Mm -hmm. And really it comes down to our worth. Our, we, can, we can try and do and, and work at it and show up and do all those doing things, more of our masculine energy, which is important. But if we don't actually have the capacity to receive it, like I'm willing to have it, like I'm good enough to have it, I can have that money and not feel all uncomfortable. It's the same as I can have that love. I can have that support from the universe. Uh, it's not all up to me. I'm actually not alone. And so this idea of intimacy, the way I like to talk about it, is our, our intimate relationship with ourself. It's really easy to have an intimate relationship with your, your magnificent parts where you've like got it together, look good, you know. It's not as easy to have an intimate relationship with the parts of ourselves that are wobbly, scared. Maybe we didn't have a good month in the business. Maybe uh, a client didn't renew. Maybe we really bombed uh, a telesummit or something like those places in us where we have shame, embarrassment, guilt, lack of self-esteem, discomfort with receiving. Um, those are the parts like we are a holistic being. Don't BS me that you can receive in one quarter, but you can't receive over here. And you're trying to tell me you're open to receiving. No, you're not. Tell the truth and don't tell the truth from a place of like self judgment because that's what's creating the problem in the first place. It's really about this transparent, loving, authentic, vulnerable relationship we have with all of ourselves. The part of us that's still growing, that's a hot mess, that's wobbly, <laughs> and the part of us that's badass and incredible and kicking ass and all of this. It's really about a relationship with all of ourselves. And what I'm going to be teaching at this event is how to, I don't need to help you with what you're already kicking ass at. That's, that's no problem. It's the part that you're resisting, avoiding, denying, judging, rejecting, ashamed of, humiliated by, embarrassed by, whatever that is, that is actually in the way of you receiving even more money, even more ideal clients, even more ideal gigs with ease and grace. I'm not interested in all of us dying at 50 with a heart attack because we pushed and we did it and we put, and now we're dead. Okay, my mom died at 61, cancer. You know, it doesn't work. We need to be balanced in as women in our receiving and our health and well being, in our intimate relationship with ourselves, and uh, even our intimate relationship with money. You know, do you even have an intimate relationship with your business? Do you talk to your business? It's conscious. Are you grateful for it? Are you mad at it? Money, where have you been lately? And why do you think it's going to come knocking on your door when you? When you have that kind of relationship, we're going to go really deep and heal um, any blocks to your relationship with money, your business, your ideal clients, your purpose. Um, and in the in so doing, you're going to be more magnetic, more irresistible, more sexy. You're going to have that it factor, that safety um, for people to come be with you and work with you because you're at peace with yourself. You're at home with yourself. There's something about you that's going to feel magnetic and, and safe for them to be vulnerable with you and let you help them as you're, you know, in your business. And it's going to look like more money and more abundance. So that's what I'm going to be showing up at your event for Katrina to support people with. Yes. And you really touched on it, man. It's if you're not feeling at one with yourself, 
and intimate with yourself and you're not willing to be a little bit vulnerable. I love your emails, by the way. Every, oh. I don't read them all, but every once in a while I open one because you have really great subject lines. And it's like, I want to know about Brian. Tell me about Brian. Like, <laughs> <laughs> She'll open up and she does a bunch of stories and it's like, oh my God, Brian did that? Wow. And, uh, and, but, you know, I was in a marriage that was so unhappy towards the end. And I would go out into the business world and go to networking events and I would fake being happy because people would, I would, I didn't want people to know that I wasn't happy. For some reason, that made me less of a business or marketing coach if I was unhappy or something, which it wouldn't. But it would also take the focus off of me trying to enroll them in services and stuff. So, no, don't talk about me and my woe is me situation. Let me just be good so we can move on to the thing of you like working with me. You know, that's how I used to think way yeah. back then. And yeah. it wasn't until I realized I was settling. I was settling for someone who didn't support me 100% and didn't believe in me, but also settling for lack of intimacy and love and attention and affection in my relationship. And yeah. that was hurting my ability to do the productive things, the being, you know, the doing stuff that actually brought in the clients. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to do it. I wanted to sit home and, and watch Oprah or I wanted to sit home and watch Oprah and eat bonbons or whatever. <laughs> right. Like I wasn't feeling proud, loud and proud. And, yeah. um, and people, people smell it. It's an energy and they so. have a variety of people to work with. You know, we have a lot of competition out there. So how are you going to stand out? Not by being fake and looking like you've got it all together, in my opinion. Yes, we want you to have your genius, your talents, your expertise. But if it's not balanced, if it's not grounded, if it's not real, if it's not transparent, in today's world especially, um, people aren't going to work with you. They're going to say there's not something real and authentic about her. And I can't be my total self. And so when we are being our total self, which doesn't mean like do your sob story, it means do your inner work, do the work back in your relationship, do the work with your body, do the work with your money, do the, do the inner work wherever you're not home. And then when you show up at these networking events, you show up on an interview, you show up on a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, prospect call with someone, you can, you can have no thoughts. You can be completely present. You can be an invitation and people move forward and they feel good about that decision. And yeah. that client renews because your tribe, your family, because you've done the work to be home on the yeah. inside. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned the being and the doing because I just wrote an article about that and did a video about it towards the beginning of this year because one of the biggest transformations in my own entrepreneurial journey was learning how to be and it was actually more specific is learning how to be love my mentor one time in 2008 I had a mentor and a mastermind group of about 15 people that I loved and respected and they were all telling me I was like what do I need to do to hit six figures at that point I hadn't hit it yet I was like what do I need to do what do I need to do just tell me what to do 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 because I'm a doer I'm an energizer bunny. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Do I need to change the website, create a program, raise my rates? What do I need to do? And they were all just telling me you just need to be. Be love. And I'm like, but what do I do? I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like when you live from the chin up, you don't understand there's this whole other world. I did not understand. It. it took me a year. It took me a year to wrap yeah. my head up and crying and being frustrated and you know what happened yeah. that, that year? I made a hundred thousand dollars. I didn't do anything different. I was just trying to be different and be yeah. open, right? Yeah. And I also found a guy who I thought was going to be the love of my life. So I found love and money at the end of that year of that horrible, tumultuous, like painful year of crying. But now you've got to have a balance between the being and the doing. And so that's what we're talking about. Whether it's intimacy with a partner or yourself or money. Um, or just that full disclosure and transparency, like you said, oh my God, you guys can't be hiding this stuff. And yeah. I love what you're saying about the do, 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 because it's like a merry-go-round. If I just spin the merry-go-round faster, put a couple bells and whistles on the merry-go-round, can't we really, like have a better result? No, like slow the, can I swear? Slow the fucking thing down, okay? Yeah. Slow the merry-go-round down. But most, right. like, this is my journey. I was terrified because I had to feel if I slowed down. 
Mm-hmm. And if I just get going fast enough, I don't have to feel it. I could just be happy and I can make sure. it. Happen, la, 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 right? So I was like, right. This is so important. We can do so much less and have so much more. If the merry-go-round is slowed down, we've yeah. done our inner work. We're at peace with it all. Not and that and all means the challenges and the support, the pain and the pleasure. A, a queen, think about a queen in a castle. If like somebody's attacking, is she gonna freak out? Is that gonna help the castle and everyone? No, no, no. She needs to be calm. She needs to be able to be with challenge and support equally. This groundedness is really what I believe, you know, adds another zero to your your year at the end of the year. And it's what brings ideal clients that really value your beingness. Because that's how they can ah, come down and be present as well. And all of us queens can flourish together. And to me, that's really what sisterhood is about. And and this way, this feminine power that is, is I believe, a healthier way to run the planet. You know, a balance. This collaborative, cooperative beingness where we let our feelings be valuable. I'm not saying like hysterics and all of that but when you suppress your feelings long enough they come out as hysterics but if you just welcome them transform them and know how to ride the wave of energy and you become that that witness that can hold it all it's really attractive to money it's really attractive to ideal clients and yes it makes sex better there's nothing wrong with that (laughs) i believe it makes your relationship with your body better because you're at peace with aging Everything that we could waste our energy around um, is right. Those are insignificant compared to the impact that you're here to make on this planet mm-hmm. and the tens of thousands or millions of people that you want to hear your message, right? Yes. So you want to write a book and get it out to a gazillion people or you want to speak or you want to do more videos and online marketing. I mean, we've got more people to impact. We can't yeah. let our we can't slow ourselves down with self-sabotage and that's what this is. And so, and the last one I'll say um, that I'll teach you all is like the magic that happens when you are in this balanced place, this intimate relationship with yourself. Yes. You're still going to show up every day and do stuff, but when you're not overly in the doing and doing it all yourself, open, you're receiving the universe is like, Oh, can we give you magic? Then you actually know how to receive now. And so this weekend I was out at a Shabbat, um, having a beautiful experience. I'd never been to one of those. So I was like, this is awesome. Um, and I get a text that Jenny McCarthy's producer, Jenny wants to know more about what I do on her radio show. Would I be a guest? You know, I, that's the magic that happens when you just do what's in front of you and you balance yeah. it with the inner world. I didn't do shit to get that interview. I just show up. I do my YouTube channel. I do my conscious soap opera newsletters that you read <laughs> every so often. I, I share vulnerably. I, I stand in my power. I own my messy, wobbly, hot self. I do my work and magic starts to happen. And that's the gift of when you really are willing to do this work and you're really, yeah. really willing to be in balance. You become in partnership with the divine. You don't yeah. have to do it all alone. And magical things like, like that happen as a reminder that you're on the right track. A reminder, yeah. a gift that yes, this self-love, self-care, this balance of being and doing is the best way to be your best self. Mm-hmm. The universe helps. I cannot wait to see you. And when we when we see each other in March, it's gonna be amazing. So what's going on here is Alana's gonna come and speak at my Love and Money Live event you guys and so excited because i uh we've we've talked before and i've been on your your youtube channel right your yes YouTube you've been channel. on my podcast i think twice too yes yeah and so i finally get to have her on my stage and bring her to people now it's a smaller intimate event you know like 45 people is probably all we're gonna take so it's not like this huge event it's an intimate event for an intimate conversation about love and money and a lot of people will say well why are you doing this event why don't you just teach us what we need to do in our businesses well we're gonna do that we're gonna talk about the doing but day one is all about the being it's about the being and the doing and then building the living the lifestyle that you want and if you don't have it all a lot of little things in place in each area you're gonna be off balance and you're not gonna see the revenue so you can't just do the being the doing and so I've learned that and I'm trying to impart that maybe I just need to change the name and trick you all to coming uh, because you want the doing right it's give it's selling what they what they want and give them what they need kind of thing yeah. but 
right? But let me tell you, you are not going to get away. A lot of people actually make money at my events too. So I do sure. what's called um, helping people create easy yes offers. And so it's really fun because everybody gets to sell each other and it makes it a comfortable environment to sell. And so I've had people walk out with $1,800, okay? And that weren't speaking, mind you, that were just attending. So. Nice. Yeah, so it's a great not only investment of your time. You're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna be loved on. You're gonna you're gonna feel really good. Alana's got some great energy. I've also got another speaker coming. You can go to the webpage and learn all about it if you go to loveandmoneylive.com, loveandmoneylive.com. And I've got a coupon code for those of you who are watching because I believe in showing up and paying attention. I can't stand when people aren't paying attention. I know we're all busy, but if you are struggling with having more love or intimacy in your life or getting money in your business and getting clients, then you need to pay attention to this because this could be the best event you attend all year long. Mm -hmm. And you can come for $100 off if you use the coupon code 100OFF, all caps. So it's it'll be in the chat, but it's uh, 100OFF over at loveandmoneylive.com. It makes it a no-brainer to attend. And it's three days of really working on you and your business and creating that business around the kind of life you want to live. Do you have yeah. parting words or anything? You want oh, to I just can't wait to meet them all and love them all because all the doing, if you can't receive, you're just going to have a lot of busyness in your life, but it's never going to end up in your bank account and it's never going to end up in your heart. It's just going to be all around you, which is going to make you feel like crap because you're putting all this energy in, but they come to the door, but they won't walk through the door. So this is an actual capacity to receive the client, receive the money, receive the love, receive the support, and I'm going to help you do that. Oh, hey, Carol. Thanks for coming. I know Dusty was on the line and a few other people have been watching, not commenting. Maybe you're too afraid to comment about intimacy, but please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, reach out to Alana, please, ahead of time. That's a smart thing to do, you guys. Um, yeah, get on my newsletter list. Just go to my website or watch my YouTube videos to get yeah. a flavor for me and, and just know that I'm really honored and privileged to be there. And you will walk out absolutely changed forever uh, oh. with what I can teach you. Small, tiny hinges swing big doors when you're at the level that your people are at, Katrina. They're conscious ladies. So yeah. a little bit of a little bit of tweaking is going to create a whole new reality for you. Yes, and men, don't be scared off because we we love the men to show up too. So yes, there will be both, and it's uh, a lot of noble badasses are welcome, right? <laughs> um, I think it's important to own your true self, and especially as a man too. But um, so we have fun at this at this event, and I'm just so excited for you to be there, mm -hmm. um, for all of you to come. Um, please don't wait. Um, this, you know, the coupon code is for you for right now, this week only. So um, I just, if you have any questions though, don't like sit and wonder. Please just reach out because I'm here to be a resource and I know Alana feels the same way, but it, it's true. I want you to make a lot more money doing what you love and we got to put all the pieces together and make it all flow together. So please come and um, we'll see you there. And see you awesome. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.